put that one yep, through for the consolation. And right on the siren, it's gone. But it doesn't matter as far as the Lauderdale boys are concerned. You can see they're up out of their chair as they run over and they are a very, very happy team up there, Doug. Uh, just always a great, great to see a team so happy to win a grand final. It's always sad for the losers, but well-deserved, Hoppy. This is the first time we've seen them all year. They were clearly the better side today. Yeah, they had great system, didn't they, Doug? <laughs> amazing what we can trot out and what we can deliver on a day like today. But we've beaten good opposition today, haven't we? All right? We played really good, strong opposition in, in your Norfolk two weeks ago, and we got the job done there as well. He's speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually just thinking that if I had 27 sons, I'd be extremely proud if they were you. Oh. Might be a bit tired, and a couple of them might be a bit slow, but that's okay. I guess that's. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> um, we, we just point you in the right direction, and, and, a, and, a, and a most heartfelt <laughs> and sincere thank you to to Jason, Nick, Kane, Andrew, Charlie, in particular, all the other parents that help out with all sorts of stuff. And we look around the room now. And this amazing amount of support is what's got us to this spot now. Yeah? And you've done your parents and your families proud. You've done the footy club proud. But most of all, you've done yourselves proud. And you've certainly done the extremely proud. Well done. Okay, boys. Oh, I mean, look, absolutely fantastic. Like you said, uh, look, a fantastic win, and you, you train all year to actually uh, to win a premiership. But I think look, the most pleasing thing about what I've just witnessed is just the passion you've got, just that camaraderie, the um, the admiration you've got for your coach. I mean, that's that's what all our footy clubs all about. And uh, and I, I reiterate your comments too, you know, Simon. Just thank you very much for all the parents and all the efforts of all the volunteers that have. Uh, and now would you guys to actually get out in the field every week and actually win that uh, win the Premiership Cup. So congratulations, enjoy it boys, and uh, we really look forward to seeing you guys coming out through the future. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
So we're joined here with the uh, president of the Lauderdale Footy Club, uh, Graham O'Byrne. Graham, you must be cock a hoot to see the next generation coming through the ranks playing such a fantastic brand of football. Uh, look, it's been fantastic, uh, Hoppy, and I think this is an absolute credit to the boys as well as their coach. And uh, look, and it's, and it's a real uh, example, I think, of the Lauderdale culture. We've got a, got a fantastic culture of junior footy, junior, junior uh, boys coming up and making our senior team. So, yeah, a really good example of that. Well, it was a fantastic day. So the Lauderdale boys have got away with a victory, played a really good system of footy. And so let's go into the huddle now and get a few of uh, the impressions of some of those players and the coach. Now let's go over here and we'll uh, go and see if we can grab the coach over here. Now, now I know it's a busy time for you, uh, Simon, and you must be very emotional about that. Uh, it's a worrying time. You train all year. You've uh, finished on top of the ladder, but it doesn't amount for anything until you get that coveted cup and that medal around your neck, and there is one. How is it that you're feeling? Uh, yeah, look at the risk of trotting out all sorts of cliches, Hoppy. <laughs> no, it feels very good. I'm very proud of the boys. They, they worked very, very hard. They deserve their win. You never quite know, as, as you know as well as anybody. You, know, you, you never quite know until the job's done. So with about a minute and a half to go, um, I started to relax. I was interested. Uh, so in the first quarter against the Breeze, I thought that really set you up so well, the way you ran with the ball, protected the ball. Um, although they got their goal, I think, in the 14 and a half minute mark, you would have been reasonably happy, I would have thought, after that first quarter, the way the boys actually played the game. Uh, yeah, very much so. And I guess, we, you know, we talk a lot. And, and, and for us, it was our first experience at finals. Um, and, and I guess the information in the mail you get from those more learned is the pressure goes up. And, and we needed to make sure that we were very intense around the ball and we controlled the footy as much as we did. Um, playing at Lauderdale, we used to win. You know, it's not a bad day out for us. This is nothing. This is a, a light zephyr compared to what we're used to. So, look, we just wanted to be aggressive and strong. And we knew we'd create our own chances. And we just wanted to take them when we did. And, and we wanted to be strong defensively. And we've been the best defensive side in the competition all year. And, and that was again today. So, it's good. Well, anything can happen in a grand final. So, that you guys, I think, had 12-2 and two for the year. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't account for anything and to sell you under that pressure. You handled it well. A very, very warm congratulations to you. Thank you, Hoppy, and, and uh, thank you to Duff TV and this TJFL and all the people involved with um, supporting junior footy in southern Tasmania. We all do a fantastic job, and you know, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. Thank you. Fantastic. There he is, our winning coach, Simon Radcliffe.